halfway through this one, four laps down, four laps to go. Oh, trouble in turn two. And shuts all over the back end of Christie. Oh, and puts it around backwards again in turn one. Keeps the car running. But to, oh, and we've got a problem in turn two as well. On lap number five, three to go. Nanakoke sails it in a little hot. And now Ballantyne has problems and Cody Day oh. has nowhere to go but to the pit area. Spasani slides by John Jansen. Wow, Davey Bowden got way loose out of turn four. This is going to get ugly down the end of the front straightaway. Nice. Down the back stretch, out about a Caster Center and that Plastics Auto Recyclers, Murphy's Country Produce number. Goes in on the middle, lets the car slide up to the top. Jansen going to squeeze through on the outside. It is almost a dead heat at the line. Bazine takes, like he said, working the outside. Pitches the car into the corner. Tried to pinch burn him down, but it actually caught his front end and spit him up the racetrack. And that in fifth is the 49. Oh, oh. Big issues down in turn number one. Hodgson in the 49 up the track. Mike Evers in the two. All this happening. Little problems in turn one. Dylan Westbrook, the point leader, will loop the car around. The Coach for the Red Rocket, Jim Hoopinan. For third. Ryan Dinning makes quick work in the middle of the pack. Whoa, trouble in turn number four. One around, I believe that's Carl Sultany. Four down into turn number one. Neither lane with a big advantage, and now the outside has a big. Kenny Schrader, he'll lead them down into turn one on the inside. Schrader way up the hill. And we've got one around between one and two. We'll see. Not sure which Crumby that is in the 63. Dave Crumby from the looks of it. They choose to go to the back, and that was the case with Enya Robinson, a couple of others as well in the field. They choose battle for the runner-up spot. Oh, trouble in one. Cro Crosgrove and Hodgson get together. Crosgrove Carbon. slowly. 78 machine out of the outside. Will be nice job in the 188. Oh, not enough room for him. He gets tangled up with McCollum. And Somerville Either Day way. to Lucas Oil Products Victory Lane. Jillian Hills is out of the car. Let's hear it for your winner. The front, a lot of bumping going on there on the nerf bars as Connor Mahoney giving Lofton Schutz a shot down the back stretch. Lofton, man, we talked about Josh Hansen, how impressive he's been. I'm impressed by Lofton Schutz. Evans trying to find an angle he can run through the corner to challenge Aaron Turkey, but that was not it. Now he gets clipped by Holly Porter and goes around. Wow. Of Caledonia, the Burger Barn Ace One Construction 55. It's Mikey Bobby, Mike Thorne. Starting in the third spot, current point leader out of Toronto. And the. Again, that's why I kind of took this other chair. I'm sorry. It's, it's, you are not. <laughs> but this was karma. I deserve it. A few cars there on that move as Holly Porter, Mike Thorne all had a check Problem. up past it. Josh Pro Shantz and problems off a of corner four for. Tonight, Jesse's predicting a win this evening. Trouble in turn number three, I believe that's the five. Ran pure stocks over the Flamborough Speedway, but has looked very flawless and troubles for the eight of Hill, Hill as he loops it. Good start for Evans as he opens up an advantage. Ryan Hunsinger moves up to second. Oh, trouble in turn number two. Mac DeMann goes around. We're going to be strong tonight. Jesse's predicting a win this evening. Trouble in turn number three, I believe that's the five. Point. Three laps in, three to go in this one for Jerry Hill, your leader, Josh Shantz, right now running in. But out in front is Ryan Dinning ahead of Ryan Beagle and Bryce Richardson. Whoa, big problem out of turn four. And we've got a car on its roof. That'll bring out the red flag. Evans running third. Schutz and Martin going at it. Two of the younger drivers in the division right now, fourth and fifth. And Martin has problem. Big flames out of the back end of the 29 of Liam Martin. He'll come to a stop up in corner number four. Trying to get out of the car here, and he is out, rolling. Seventh is Ryan Hunsinger, eighth, Hannah Farrell, ninth, Mike Thorne, and Josh Hansen's without the right side header, completes it in the top ten.
with Brown through corner number three. Both drivers fighting against the ball. Westbrook gonna slide up in front of us. Brown tries to turn it underneath. Wheel stand for the 110 off of corner four. <laughs> there with Brown through corner number three. Both drivers fighting. <laughs> One, 12 on the board, still eight to go. And great battle up front. Bailey gets by LaMare, but the top three are all close together. No one really running as well. Look at Sean Chenoweth right now trying to work his way towards the top five of that 89C and have a trouble up in corner three and four. Ryan Beagle, Frank Turkey, and Jim Lampman all loop around there and that will bring running in second is Brooke Nelson and we're about to have a battle for the lead. Big body slam by Brooke Nelson on the 37 of Jake Moss and now problems. And we send one up and over, the red flag being displayed. Couple of cars together, they're down in one. An axis shot, Evans to get by the act. Right in trouble. Up in one and two, we've got three cars collected. Jesse Costa, who can make it. The turn number But first, we're going to get in here, talk to the second place finisher. Mark Vizine, that was a heck of a... The outside of Cunningham for the third position, but we got a battle for the lead with one lap to go. Good action. The top spot and for third right now. Turner trying to make it stick down in corner number two, but that outside line just too much to handle as Styers will lead, the, lead them through three and off of four to the checkered flag. Styers takes the checkered, Turner second. Here's the battle for third. A little bit of contact between Hoopinen and, and Travis Cunningham with Hoopinen getting this. Prochka doing a lot better through one and two than he's been through three and four. Getting a great run through one and two. Struggling through three and four, but Hoopinen goes. Burbridge back to second. Ryan Turner spins. Order one and... last season and I think Carl's in for a good solid year in car number 81 as he sits there in third waiting for Denning and Bleach to open the door and get <laughs> Second corner. Denning couldn't get it done on the outside, so he'll try the inside. Drives it deep into turn three, but there's still bleach to the outside. Turkey goes around as he makes the move to the outside of Chris Dickey. Final time off a of corner four. Caliber. Oh, big problems going into one and three. Four of them all involved heavily, heavily here. Here on Strickland's GMC night at the races. Brett Wardwell leads him. Remember, he had that problem. Oh, the 911 goes around in front of the field, and we got ourselves a parking lot. Oh, we've got broken wheels now on the 40. I believe that's Jay Liverance's machine. The right. Not sure if he kept it running or not. He did. Oh, second place goes around the brothers. Oh, my. Both in position on the back straightaway racing with Michael Summers and DJ Christie pitches it sideways into the corner and collects a couple of cars. Paul Ballantyne in the nine. Inches the car down on the inside, loses his momentum. 
And Schutz gets back around on the high side. Whoa, Schutz goes around in turn number two. Right in front of Davey Bouton. Thorn leads lap number three. Whoa, trouble up in turn number four. Got a Nana Coke around again. Trevor Young slides sideways. All time winningest driver for the Crate Sprint Cars. Let's hear it for Mac Demand. Again, thank you to Lone Wolf Fireworks. Yeah, corner number one. They're five wide right now back in that second. Oh, row. There and there it goes is. French in front of the field. They all plow in. Oh, driver's side exposed was Doug Erskine in the 64. Uh, that's the only thing I hate to see. I don't mind seeing out and make it through the turns. Jansen's resumes his spot at the head of the field, but he's got some. Oh! oh! Horrible crash for Dusty DeBoer in corner three. Wow. That car helps out and make it through the turns. Jansen's resumes his spot at the head of the field, but he's got some. Oh! oh! Horrible crash for Dusty DeBoer in corner three. Wow. That car tonight. Oh. Whoa, Jeremy May up in smoke. Big time, and that's bad news. His second car. Bryce Richardson comes up lame out of turn number four, trying to get to the infield, but doesn't quite. Oh, trouble in turn three. Jim Lampman goes around, collects somebody on his way up. With Steyer's your new leader. He affected Hendricks line enough to get. Oh! Your new leader. He affected Hendricks line enough to get. Oh! And he goes for a big ride down the first. the 21P. Making quick work of this one. Dylan Davidson also a youngster who has come into his own as of late. Looking good here on the big O. And Trevor Wright, a solid run for him also on the bottom. And just as I say that, I give him the curse again. I can't believe this, Greg. This is getting <laughs> silly. Problems for Trevor Wright. He will roll the central fabrication. 0-9 to the bottom here of turn number three and four, and he has come up limp on the inside. So the caution flag will fly for Trevor Wright on lap number five as the field bears down on him down in corner number three. We used to joke about it, but this is becoming an epidemic with me. Uh, yeah, some of the fans that have not been here over the last couple of weeks have not witnessed the curse of Clinton Jeffrey. It seems like every time I start talking up these guys, they have problems. Do what Adam does. Talk them down. <laughs> I want to send a shout out to Adam. He's 